to another video this time I'm going to do something different I actually have been meaning to do this for a while I just never got around to do it because I'm lazy but also because I just forgot <laughs> and then I was sitting um, in my bed the other day and I just thought hey why don't I make a binder update video because I want to see how far far along I am on my collections, what changes I've made, things like that and then I figure oh, I'm just gonna do a fun video for it and just like ramble about I don't know K-pop and comebacks and um, the training community because I think there's a lot of tea to say about that uh, but mostly just like uh, comebacks and just my collections personally I feel like I've been doing really well on some of them but also I need to um, update my binders because there's some um, collections that I have to add pages to and have them prepare like uh, it's these Yeji because of course we had Not Shy come back which I actually already finished her set but I haven't like already set up uh, the page for it. I also have to do EO Forever Glow's comeback which I have my albums uh, hopefully on the way soon. They haven't been shipped out but I'm waiting on it and what else? Um, oh right I've decided to start a new collection so that's exciting and I don't know if you can hear it but the TV from my mom's room is so loud I'm gonna have to you know be right back because it's kind of getting to me so let me let me just go ahead and turn that off okay I am back and oh like I was saying I am starting a new collection I have also dropped a few things so I guess I'm gonna be covering those in this video as well but for the most part it's gonna be a binder update video where I'm just gonna like see how I'm doing I guess like what I need to work on and set up for my new collection that I'm starting barely and for now I think I'll start on that first so I'm gonna go ahead and put that collection on this binder the smaller binder because it's gonna be a very low priority and if you're wondering what collection I'm starting well I have decided that I want to collect Dreamcatcher so I am adding Dami to my collections because she is my bias. So I am not going to be collecting or looking for like her, uh, I guess, four, first four or first five, I'm not sure. Like the first releases because I know those cards are going to be like really hard to find and also I believe the albums are out of print, so I'm not sure on that. Oh, I also did something the other day. So, on my big binder, I had Umbi, but that big binder was getting so thick, and Umbi has like so many pages to her section that I decided to switch her and Lea because Lea only has like three pages. So, I switched her to this binder. So, Umbi is here. So first we have Eu, then we have Kun, and here's Umbi. So I moved all of Umbi stuff here because look, all of this was making my binder so thick. Like this is already a lot as you can see for Umbi. So I moved her over here and then we have Luda. I ended up switching her um, sleeves to purple instead of the lilac because Umbi is right here and lilac and lilac would just not be it. I would not like that. My OCD wouldn't let me live. And then of course we have our miscellaneous where I actually changed something here as in I dropped a collection I had. It was a small one but so this is pretty much all my miscellaneous stuff as of right now and this is as good as it's gonna get for now so yeah if you can tell all of my Momo pictures are gone because I went ahead and traded slash sold all my Momo photo cards I also sold or treated no both I sold one and treated a couple I don't know but all the what is left uh, Nyan cards I had were also 
removed so pretty much all I kept for twice was nylon set for twice crystalline one I do have her CD plate now so I guess I do have her entire set that was like the era that really solidified her as my bias so I was like you know what I have to keep that and I went ahead and kept her lenticular for fancy you but I don't know if I'll ever change my mind I don't think I will because I really do love this lenticular and especially this outfit on her I think this is like my favorite outfit um, that Nyan has ever like I think that one and one of the ones from what is love but sadly I had to give up on that uh, little collection I had going on I had the pre-order set and two of the cars and yeah but things had to be done especially if I want to pick up on a new collection speaking of I'm thinking of where to put my divider for Thami so I have EU purple Kuhn is black uh, Umbi is lilac maybe I should put Thami here with black sleeves and then it would be Luda purple and then all the miscellaneous one yeah let me just let me go ahead and put Thami's divider here I think I already have one yeah I have one made already I just need to print out her picture and then add it and yeah uh, I did get recently their uh, fifth mini album uh, dystopia lose myself so I do have trades coming in for dummy but I'm not gonna set up anything yet because it's only like uh, three cards and the standy so once I get all of that I'll just like once I do my um, sorting video or whatever, I'll just add the pages. But for now, I'll just leave it like this. Uh, okay, Everglow. Yes. They just came back. So we have to set up for uh, Ew. Oh my god, you know what? Like, why did um, they have to have like so many cards for this era? Like, I don't understand like for why <laughs> literally we were doing so good with only two cards two cards per era was great it was a great thing I don't collect like MMT and all those like extra cards especially because they're so expensive I don't know for whatever reason people overprice Everglow and Etsy so much I'm just like no guys that's not it well, why are you doing that like no <laughs> so that's why I'm straying away from those cards but um, I know there's three there's five photo cards and the hologram hologram holographic card um, that apparently is very uh, rare but okay so there was like a lot of confusion going on in the fandom about pre-order and photo cards photo cards are not pre-order so like I'm pretty pretty 100% sure that even if you buy the album after the pre-order period has ended you will still get two photo cards the only thing is you won't have a chance at pulling a holographic one that's only the pre-order uh, benefit I guess that I think the way that they like made the what is it you know the album details and everything they messed up in that and everybody got so confused thinking like oh my god you're not gonna get any photo cards if you don't pre-order i don't think that's it i really do think that it only applied to the holographic one i did pre-order both of my copies so i do have a chance at pulling it hopefully i pull one at least so i can trade for eus but yeah i think that was it and everybody just went crazy thinking like Oh my god, we're not gonna get pre photo cards if we don't pre-order the album and I couldn't pre-order so I'm not gonna get it. No, 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 I don't think, <laughs> I don't think that's what they meant. Like, they just, it was like a little mis miscommunication error on their part in the album details. But I think, uh, hopefully I'm right, and you do get two photo cards. So I'm not gonna put anything here yet because I really am running out of sleeves. Ugh. And I do have quite a few people that I have to sleep with purple sleeves. It's Irene, Wendy, you, 
Is that it? Oh, and do that. But do that, I'm like super like. Okay, maybe I'll just add them anyway, just so that it doesn't look like so empty. Because it does look a little bit awkward. But when I'm running out of sleep, I tend to not fill out the rest. Only like, um, whatever I know I have, like coming in or whatever. So there's six photo cards to collect for you. There's also two postcards and the little pop-up thing which i'm not gonna store i'm just gonna go ahead and put it on the shelf like i did with my shono triangle thingy I forgot what it's called but i am gonna make already a space for the postcard so now i have to just wait until i get those albums oh my god nct 2020 is coming and i am not ready but at least i already have kun set complete for empathy for nct 2018 i have to store that photo card in the next video i guess oh my god you can see my scar right here this was my cat he is a little bit too playful and needy at the moment because his baby teeth are falling and he's just being extra clingy and yeah he did that so i look like yeah i've been scarred i think that's it for this binder right i already set up for you i put my divider for dami and then oh my god we also have the cosmic girls unit i don't know if i'm going to be buying that like right away because we also have to prepare for morsta x and i'm so behind on other releases like i want to get signatures album i want to get lunar solar album i'm so stressed i'm literally so stressed but okay let me bring the other binder now okay so here it is now it's definitely looking a less lot like bulky because i took out mb and replaced it with last things which is like literally just three pages for irene i'm still looking for these two cards also sappy but not so much until i, I kind of want to wait until i get the album and then just see if i pull her or wendy because i'm collecting wendy as well but so i'm still holding off on that it's not like the super high priority like the other two cards i do have this coming in from a group order hopefully it comes soon uh i joined that group order in june and yeah it's almost october so yeah it's it's been taking a really long while so hopefully it comes in soon because i'm a little bit impatient to get that card already because it's been so long that i've been waiting on it uh i did however something so exciting was that i got my hands on the other top note card that i was missing which is the yellow shirt irene i went ahead and bought it because i thought it was like really inexpensive as compared to some people that are overpricing cards for just no reason um but yeah i saw it being reasonably priced and i got it along with one of the postcards that i still need because i have only three yeah and then i traded for one and then I bought one with that top note photo card. And then I saw the middle note photo card that I was missing also for sale. So I also went and bought it because it was less than $10. We love when people don't overprice photo cards. Um, yeah, it's it's a struggle, especially with us Irene collectors to find cards decently priced. And then right when I was about to give up looking for the blushy cheeks irene photo card from base notes that i need i found it for sale also a decently priced like i was like oh my god i have to snatch and i did so we have all of those three coming in the mail which wow it's actually gonna complete my monster set right on time because i hear red velvet might be having a comeback soon which 
clothing on my fingers, but also like low key scared because my wallet cannot catch a break. Um, so yeah, it's crazy that I was able to finish the recent eras, yet I'm still very much stuck on two early eras. So that's fun. Also, I still need one of her postcards from Base Notes, so I am looking for that. And yeah, because I only have two, we need one more to finish to really finish the entire monster set. Uh, I don't think I have to set up for that, so that's fine. I will just pretty put the postcard there at the back. Uh, then we have Shonu. I do have things coming in for Shonu. I I got my hands on the first two albums so I will be moving everything because I have two photo cards from those albums and then and then I have oh yeah I have his uh, follow Kino set so I have the photo card and the postcard so I have to set up for the postcards like these I guess I'll put him I'll put him right here Because we have Fantasia postcards there, so it makes sense, especially because I have Follow and Fantasia here, yeah. And then I also have one of his Fantasia cards coming in as well, version 1. Yeah, I have version 1 coming in, which means I only need version 3 to finish that whole Fantasia era, which is exciting. Um, oh my god, Wikimiki is also making a comeback. You guys, I can't set up for that yet because we haven't really gotten any album details as far as I know. But I feel like it might be like hide and seek. There's going to be like two versions and just two photo cards. I am hoping for that. Um, I do have to store one of the Polaroids from Lucky that I bought in my next, um, storing video and the dazzling funeral card from dazzle dazzle that i finally found i bought that card three months ago from someone in europe it never made it uh so i was very very sad about that because i had been looking for ever for that card and blue haired ellie is very hard to come by if you don't know well now you do but like yeah so I was very sad, I was just like so, just so, I don't know, I'm done with trying to find it. But then I found it, as someone else was selling it, and I snatched, like, so fast. Um, and it was actually less cheaper than the first time I bought it from that person, and it never arrived. Yeah, it's actually less cheaper than that, which we love that. But yeah, I, I don't know if I want to set up for Ellie yet. I think I'm just going to wait until the album details come out just in case. It's not just two photo cards. And then I don't know if I'll be able to collect any of the extra cards because I don't know if I'll pre-order or not. And this is where I keep like the extras. Like I have the Kino and the K-Town for you and the Make Star pre-orders from Hide and Seek. So I don't know about that. Oh, Yeji, yes. I have to set up for Yeji because I completed her set. So I guess there's going to be another page. I kind of hate that it's just three cards, but there's going to be three and no, not three. It's going to be six empty spaces on this sleeve, but that is okay, I guess. That is what happens to me for not collecting units. I guess I'll leave them empty because... I don't see a point in sleeping, sleeping the rest of the- Oh my god, what is this hair? Is it inside or where? Okay, there it is. So yes, I'm just gonna s just prepare for the three cards that I am going to be sleeping in my next organizing video or whatever. I'm so excited I finished the set like so fast. This is like the fastest I've ever been able to finish an era. So yeah, that's it for Yeji. Oh, also the um, the tattoo and the postcard 
I'm hoping the postcard fits in the two page because I know it's way bigger than these. So I'm gonna add a two page for those. Okay, the tattoo for sure is gonna fit, but I don't know about the postcard because they are bigger. Let's just hope that it does. Okay, Wendy. Now, uh, I do have a lot of things to put away for Wendy, which I will be doing in my next video, but I have Russian Roulette, Perfect Velvet, Perfect Red Velvet, which was a group order that I joined. I traded for the Cookie Jar Irene card I pulled because, of course, I would only pull Irene dupes. It's so funny, but it's like... I really am cursed when it comes to Irene. Um, uh, so I pulled her cards twice in 2015 when I started buying the albums. And then I didn't pull Irene at all after that until this year. So yeah, I waited like five years to pull her again. And two of the three pulls were dupes. <laughs> so that's nice. <laughs> What else do I have for Wendy coming in? Oh, one of her finale cards from a trade. That's right. And yeah, that's it. And of course, Leah is all up to date as well. So I think that's pretty much it. So I'm doing fairly good, except for these two cards and like in my ring prediction, which is my highest priority. It's been such a struggle trying to find those and every time I find them for trade they ask for something I don't have or when I find them up for sale I'm so late and already someone has claimed them so it's uh, it's tough out there for us Irene collectors but I made a new friend who's also an Irene collector and she helped me out so much uh, she actually helped me find that base note uh, photo card and that's how I was able to cop that so fast because otherwise I would have been late like always because I'm always late when it comes to getting Irene cards because for some reason every time someone posts anything Irene it gets claimed in seconds like you can check the post two minutes and it's already like claimed like why I don't understand why <laughs> some of you guys are so fast couldn't be me i'm so slow but i guess it's it i've already ranted enough for this video this was just supposed to be like a little update for my binder and my collections so i think i've done pretty well uh like i said what i have on my wish list right now that is like super high priority are those two irene photo cards i also want to get her kino set for bad boy not the, like you know not the card that is like super expensive even though it's super cute I don't think I'll ever be able to get that one but I do want the Kino set like because in the Kinos you got two photo cards per member it was like a whole set plus the random member photo card which is the one that is like super hard to find and super expensive I don't want that, at least not for now. I don't know if I'll change my mind eventually. But for now, I don't really want it. It's not like a priority. I'd rather have the other, like, Kino set that is just her in the pink fur coat and the other one. Yeah. <laughs> I want the, the, the same thing for Wendy. But those are kind of hard to find as well. And people are selling, like, $8 for each one, like why are you not selling them as a set but i mean i get it because the kinos are out of print but still i did remember seeing someone selling them for really cheap like as a set and not selling them separately which is kind of what i'm hoping to find but either way that was it for this video it's pretty long i didn't talk much about the trading community though i think i want to make a video about that and just kind of like spill the tea on it because there's a lot of things I want to, I really want to talk about the trading community because I've been on it for over a year now. And there's some things that just like keep happening and we keep complaining about them. But they still, they, they keep on happening and I'm just like, 
can you not see everybody complaining about this why are you still doing it anyway i'll just do like a video for that later or i can just talk about and rant about the things that bother me in the trading community once i do my um sorting photo cards into my binders video but for now this is pretty much it this is how i'm doing so far in my collections also again i have so many things to buy and not enough money honestly so many comebacks i'm just like help please help if red velvet make an announcement that they're gonna come back i i really really do hope that it's in november or december october is already packed as it is i i don't need it i mean i don't need it but can i can they like wait a month that'll be great but yeah anyway enough of my rambling i'll see you in the next video and yeah i hope you stay safe and healthy and happy and i'll see you bye